Stanford University. We've looked broadly across the western United States in the warmer areas at present, like Napa County and, and Santa Barbara County. What we find is that uh, the area that's uh, suitable for growing premium wine grapes, the most uh, valuable wine grapes, decreases uh, with global warming over the next three decades. And this decrease is due in part from the warming uh, that occurs across the season, uh, and also it's due to the number of severely hot days that occur within a growing season. I think a good farmer always has to be attuned to changes in climate. Most of the vines that go in within 30 years, that's part of the life expectancy of the vine. Um, and so what's happening now in terms of vineyard decisions should be based on that long of a projection anyway. So I think people need to be attuned to it. And modern farmers do need to pay attention to science and things that are found. If uh, growers are looking to uh, looking out 30 years and looking at the, at the potential climate change, there's a, a variety of, of measures that potentially can be taken and uh, the ability to, to shade plants through trellising, uh, the ability to irrigate uh, in order to cool plants. Uh, these are, these are going to be the most uh, affordable potential adaptation actions. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.